Hey y'all, it's your girl J9 Eve, and I don't know if this counts as a hot take or no, but I had to speak on it. I ain't even get to wash my face, okay? <laughs> I just rolled out of bed, got some cereal, sat down here, turned on these here intranets, and here comes this thing come flying across my screen. Now, <laughs> you are being bullied into a thought, and it's working. This is how you know it's working, when not only do you go ahead and accept the thing that the bully is saying, but you then start to regurgitate it yourself in a passionate way. So just break this down, this male, female, whatever is going on where we are, we're swapping. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else is noticing. I don't know how they're not noticing if they're not noticing, but it seems like they're not noticing <laughs> that we are swapping genders. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it happened. Republicans used to be Democrats. Democrats used to be Republicans. It happens, I guess. I think you could swap. I think it's a little bit different when it's you know, gender, because I think what people keep forgetting is the purpose of humanity. Like we, we recycle through this here life. Like everyone who was born is born. They're going to die. It's the only one promise that you get. Right. And we, we have these debates about like, would you kill the ones to save the masses and ethics and, and that type of stuff? Right. So the point of that is because it's to save more people. Now, if people being saved is the mission, then the producing of people is like a main factor of the planet. Otherwise, why are people so afraid of a meteor coming and destroying everything when it's so far down the line when that's going to happen that if we continue on this route, what we're doing, we're two generations away from not existing anyway. Okay. <laughs> like we're just trying to just stop reproducing completely. Okay. It seems like what we're doing. I'm just saying, it's just what it seemed like to me. If that is, if that is the case, if that is what we are doing, then I mean, proceed. If we're just trying to end this before the meteor comes, go for it. You are doing a some mashup job. <laughs> that is one way to get around being afraid of the meteor, ending it before the meteor come. Ergo, disappointing the meteor. <laughs> this is the end of humanity. Is what we're talking about here. Okay, so. This whole agenda thing comes, okay? I noticed it a while back. I'm an old, I'm an old heifer, okay? Of 44, things look different to me than what they look like now. And, and this is always the case. They look different for me than they did for my mother when she was younger and so on and so forth and so time and, and whatever. <laughs> so, but it like right now what we are in is a time where people aren't just being themselves. See, like there was a, there was a stage like this in the... Was it the 80s? I think it was in the 80s or 70s where the guys were dressed like, you know, they called it androgynous. I'm probably saying that funny, but androgynous, you know, where they were just kind of like girls and they did the hair like girls. They wore makeup. This happened before, you guys. This happened before. And it proved to be correct what I'm about to say. Like the girls were like, oh, this is hot because the rock stars started it. It was started by the rock stars. It's never started by a guy on the street named Steve. It's never started by that. It gets started by a rock star. Now, the problem is, is that musicians usually are a little bit more, you know, gender flexible and you tend to be more likely to be bi because they're artistic and artists tend to be more fluid. That's just what it is. They're just more open minded. So they're they see things different. You know, they're artsy. So <laughs> so these trends are started by the artists. And then, you know, because they're the artist, we're the fan. We're going to mimic their behavior. So now people on the street are dressing in these ways and they're like, oh, no, this is masculine because, see, this person did it and he's like my idol. <laughs> but he's dressing like that because he is bi, maybe possibly not even bi and just homosexual. But you don't know that because in society it's not accepted and appreciated or hasn't been to be that. So they hide it. So what happened was you took on a trend adopted a trend from a homosexual person unknowingly not because of it's not the artist's fault it's society's fault but that's the reason why that happened like you now think this is what masculinity looks like because you think he's super masculine and this is how he dresses now you suddenly are actually a girl <laughs> and it becomes a trend it goes through time but because it's not authentic it's like you know that it's popular, so you wear it, but it's you don't really feel it, so it 
passes through. It passes on and passes out. And then you go on, you move on to something else. But what's happening now is a little bit different. And I'm going to tell you why. Because w- if you think about this, there's, a, there's, there's people saying, there's women out there saying that they're trying to erase women. You know, like the trans community. And and I thought so, too. That's when I was like, what the fuck? It's like they want us to not exist. Like, what is this? What is happening? They're trying to replace us. But in actuality, they're turning everyone into females. Everyone is turning into females. It's not just the trans community coming over. They're trying to dr- bring over the grown ass men, too. Like the grown ass men are coming in, too. They want to be treated like ladies. Am I wrong? <laughs> Are the grown ass men not actually now complaining because they're not being treated more like ladies? They're behaving very, 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 very feminine. They're extremely fucking sensitive. America is turning female. <laughs> I, mean, I thought this was so weird. Okay, because you know Wonder Woman. Okay, you know she was like an Amazon. The Amazon is like the place where it's nothing. Everything. It's, it's all society was women. I always wondered. If that was a thing, how that could become, and now I see. It wasn't in the way I was thinking. That's why I was just like, well, it would just be one generation because there's no males. So, because you know, they can't reproduce. But now I understand. Now I understand. The Amazon, the, the, the Amazon women were not all just actual, you know, born women. And that's why they were able to produce, but they all looked like women. It looked like a society of nothing but women. This has happened before. <laughs> this has happened before. This, I think what we're getting to is the Amazon woman thing. We just did not actually know what that was. Turns out it wasn't all actual born women. It just looked like it because everyone appeared to be a woman. You right? <laughs> That's why they were able to still reproduce and the society goes on. And this is that. So this is where we are. But we're going to watch this little clip here because this is what triggered it all for me. Okay, this is what triggered me to come on here with crusty eyes and, you know, same hoodie from last night. I just threw it on because I was chilly and made some cereal. Okay, and then this pops up. So we're going to check this thing out and see. And I will show you what triggered this to this morning. This is fun, by the way. What is going on, Mr. Sir? Most women don't want to date a man that's wearing hot pink nail polish. Maybe not 10 years ago. What I'm saying. Okay, so. Most women don't want to a, date a guy who wears pink nail polish. That should be obvious. <laughs> that should be obvious. That just in the, the grand scheme of math, that should be obvious. But it is not, apparently, because she says, and I love this chick. She's hilarious. I watch all of her TikTokies and all of her little short clips in her car. She's hilarious. Uh, I love her energy. But this right here was the thing that got the Stockholm Syndrome stuck in my head. This is what she's doing right now. It sounded like, oh, my God, they got her. The Stockholm. This is the Stockholm where you're so afraid of someone. They get a hold of you. They hold you hostage, which is what the trans community thing is. It was been doing. Hold you high. They hold you hostage. And, 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 and they put that fear in you so much. It's like almost like if they don't kill you, they now are your savior. They get the transfer from being your kidnapper to being your savior because you're still alive. And then you just become dependent on them. The fear of retribution <laughs> will cause you, it's, it's, it to, I, I don't want to say sell out, but I mean, it's what the fuck it is. I mean, I don't know what else to call it. It's, it's like the, our term in society is sell it. Like it's when you sell yourself or, your thought or your feelings for basically for kind of profit. This is what it is. <laughs> I, I got, this is insane, but I'm just saying it, it just seems weird. She's like, maybe 10 years ago, she says, maybe 10 years ago with most women, because he said most, he didn't say all, he didn't say no women want. He said most women don't want a man who wears pink nail polish. And as a woman who falls in that category, I can say we definitely fucking exist, okay? <laughs> and shit ain't cute, okay? <laughs> no, honey. I know that you're saying that you like me. You might kind of like me. Maybe you think I'm funny. But if my brother came in and he was cute, you'd be looking at him funny, okay? And, and you can say no, but it is so. And if we were to fast forward 10 years, 
I would be proven right. Just like those people, those androgynous people who started all these trends back in the day. You look 10 years ahead and then you find out now what was going on. They do the documentaries and all this stuff. And what were they? They were bi. They weren't straight. They weren't straight. They were bi. They were both. They like men. This is what it is. Like it's there's a reason why there's a little girl when there's a little girl inside of you if you are a man and there's a little girl inside of you that wants to wear pink nail polish that is fine that's just it just is what it is it happens it's a thing it's just like i'm here i don't you here you do it it's a thing and it's fine and it should be accepted but lying about it creates all this chaos okay everybody being so hateful about it forces people to lie about it, which creates all this fucking chaos, being the answer being acceptance so that people can be their authentic selves and don't mislead everybody else and turn society literally upside on its head. This is very simple shit. Like if everyone just behaved like a normal fucking human, (laughs) just be human, right? Then we would not have these problems. Let people do what they do. Allow people to feel okay with who they are and they won't lie so goddamn much. This is what it is. But she says maybe 10 years ago, they didn't, they, they, they didn't like it. But now I guess, <laughs> okay. And most women do but not even, even, even now. Or, okay. or a man that's. Now she says, but a thug, keep a bitch. This is what she said. So apparently thugs wear pink nail polish. According to this lady, the Stockholm syndrome is strong in the room. Okay. It's strong in the room. Now, <laughs> she said, a thug, keep a bitch. Yes, yes. And it, with the nail polish, you know, it's funny that that's a thug now. Okay, all right, that's how y'all thugging out? Okay, I wake up in the morning and you painting your fucking fingernails with my nail polish. Ooh, you gangster. <laughs> Times have a change. But yes, to be fair, she's correct. These particular ones, not random ones. So clearly this is not like, like she just minced up what he, he said. Most women do not want, it's a very simple statement. Most women do not want a guy who wears pink nail polish. He can say nothing about no thug. He didn't say nothing about no thuggish, ruggish bone. He didn't say nothing about no, 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 no rappers, no nothing, no gangsters, no nothing. All he said is most women don't want a man who wears pink nail polish. Okay. That's all. That's all he said. That was the statement, right? So now her saying, but thugs keep a bitch, right? Well, first of all, I don't know if the thugs is is walking around with pink nail polish. (laughs) I know that the rappers who dress somewhat like thugs are known to do dress also then put on pink nail polish too, but that's because they are a rap artist and they can be eccentric. Okay. And not to mention, he's not getting those bad bitches. Because he wears pink nail polish, he's getting it because he has money. (laughs) Money. That's money. That's not him. That's not his polish. That's money. That's because of money. That's not the nail polish. This is so misleading. (laughs) It's so misleading. I don't like this type of stuff. You guys, this is not okay. This is not okay at all. At all. And then, and then watch this one cosign. A Six bad one. Or, right. or a man. Look, a bad one. Yeah, he keep a bad one. He keep a bad bitch on hand. Uh-huh. A thug keep a bad. When apparently thugs, apparently according to them, thugs wear pink nail polish. Bright pink, hot pink. You know what I'm saying? Like this background behind this guy. Just a hot pink. Mm, hey, baby, what's that? You know, he keep, you right. He do. He keep a bad bitch. He also keep a bad dude. Okay. He keep his guy who you think is his homeboy who also wears pink and purple nails. That's his boyfriend. So if you're okay with that, then I say, hey, you're right all the time. I'm wrong all the time. And that's just what it is on life, you know. (laughs) But I'm guessing that you're not. I'm guessing that you want to believe that he just happens to like to wear pink nails and he finds you only attractive. I'm guessing that that's what you think. That's what you think. You think that he only likes females magically, but he loves to paint his nails pink. I'm guessing that's what you think. That's what it feels like you think. But I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I have been wrong before. Not often. <laughs> the only person smarter than me is my daughter. I'm like, <laughs> I'm just saying. 
I'm just saying. That's all I'm doing is saying. And that, that comes in and sits like, like you know, a little more like a, like a woman. Uh huh. Yeah. And, or a guy who sits more like a woman, legs close crossed, you know, with his hands on his knees. And it goes to the same thing. Oh, well, no, they get bitches too. They get bitches too. Yes, they do. The ones who have money. And guess why they're with them? Because they have money. They're there because they have money. Because there's a stipulate, there's a thing. And and when you do the same research, come back in 10 years, check the history, you will find out there were some males in there. It wasn't just the bitches that he was getting. <laughs> it was all of it. Okay? So if it is feminine, it is feminine. This is what, it, this is what people don't understand. And, and, and it's, I think that's the problem. I think the main problem is, like, like I, I'll admit myself, like, it starts because of all the stuff going on with the trans community and stuff. It gets so annoying that it feels like they're going too far. They've gotten, they've gotten enough. They've gotten enough. They're going, they're doing too much. But clearly not because there's so many who are claiming to be straight um, and they're not. But they're still afraid to come out. So I don't know if that's because they are cowards or it's because maybe it's just still not in mass. Maybe it just seems like it's in mass that it's accepted. Maybe in real life it's not translating. Maybe. See how I was able to conceive that? And that's how you're supposed to function as a human, okay? <laughs> you're not supposed to think your thought is the only thought and that's the thought and believe the thought, okay? Okay, we're supposed to be growing and learning here, okay? Oh my gosh. Well, that was fun. <laughs> But all right, y'all. Y'all know what to do, okay? If you don't, here's what to do. Y'all behave out there. Stop driving each other crazy. Mama love you.